Brother Steve from Hollywood, California. How you doing? How you been? How's your day going? Brother Steve here, and we are so very proud today to have one of our very, very, very special guests. As we get into the Church of God in Christ elections 2021, we are so excited to have a great young lady who's been a member of Church of God in Christ for so many, so many years, and she is running for the Judiciary Board for the Church of God in Christ. Her name is Dr. Linnell Perry from Cleveland, Ohio. Dr. Perry, how are you doing tonight, today? Uh -huh. I'm blessed, Brother Steve. How are you? Um, great. Thanks so much for joining us on our program. As the people are watching, those people are logging on, they're commenting already. We're so excited and we're so glad to have you here with us on our program. I understand that you are a candidate for the Judiciary Board for the Church of God in Christ. Now, this ain't the first time a pairing has been a member of the Judiciary Board, your dad, the late great Bishop F.E. Perry, you know, Bishop Perry, your dad married my parents yes. 50 uh, something years ago. And uh, let's talk about your dad's legacy. Uh, I am proud to continue his legacy. My father was um, Church of God in Christ diehard. He loved the Church of God in Christ. He worked entirely uh, in the Church of God in Christ, and he was on the Judicial Board for 15 years serving. Mm. And during this time, I just watched him carry himself with dignity and pride. He never brought information back to his family about cases. He respected um, their privacy, and he, he was confidential in matters of importance. And I just admired how he carried himself as a Judicial Board member. And certainly I want to carry that legacy, not just because it's a legacy, but I believe I'm qualified and I'm a hard worker. I saw my father just work hard in the church and that has carried over into me. I love the church and I serve the church. I currently am on the um, Renumeration and Job Description Committee and I work hard on that committee. I work hard in anything that I do. I try to put my best foot forward. You know, Dr. Perry, I know you're talking about how hard you're working and we're grateful for those things. And let me talk about real quick, let's go into legacy. What does legacy mean to you? Legacy means continuing the service, for me, services that I saw in my dad, that I saw him do. Um, when you grow up with someone who is just a servant at heart, you can't help for that to be ingrained in you. And I mean, from the Sunday school convention, um, mm -hmm. him just carrying boxes, you know, just working and serving and he didn't complain. That's what God called him to do. And because of his servitude, God just started elevating him and elevating him and elevating. My father never asked for anything. He didn't ask for a position. God just gave it to him because people saw how hard he served. You know, a lot of people don't know about the true legacy of the late great Bishop F.E. Perry from Cleveland, Ohio, and uh, that was your father. And, you know, I think one of my biggest honors in the Church of God in Christ, I got two big honors, matter of fact, during one of the conventions, but it was to get the F.E. Perry Award during the AIM Convention. And that, and to this day, um, I'm actually sitting here in our studios in Hollywood, California, looking at the physical war on the wall, and we're grateful for the legacy that your father brought. But besides your dad's legacy, you know, to do a job, you gotta have some type of qualifications. What makes you qualified for the Judiciary Board for the Church of God in Christ? On the church side, I know the constitution of the Church of God in Christ, and I'm able to uh, adhere to it and abide by it and apply it to cases of importance. It's very important not only to know the constitution, but also to know and live the word of God. As a judicial board member, I will apply the Constitution, the word of God with prayer. It's very important. You can't make a decision without carefully considering the facts, not opinion, and reading and knowing the word and knowing the Constitution. A lot of people talk about the Constitution, but there are things in the Constitution that I understand the average member of the church may not be aware of that's in the constitution. 
the Constitution has to be read over and over and over, especially the parts that apply to the particular job. But in my case, as a judicial board member, you have to know the Constitution because you have to be able to apply it to different cases. You know, speaking about church and the Bible and, you know, um, what, what, but what other experience do you have, you know, in the secular arena in your community? In my secular arena, I worked with, work with a, an agency that we see um, mental health patients. Okay. And a lot of times their fate lies in my hands because I work with the probationary officers and juvenile court. And I have to make clinical and sound decisions about their life. Mm -hmm. And when someone's fate is in your hands, you don't want to make a fly by night decision. You want to understand the law. You want to understand the situation and you want to add prayer with that mm. so you can make the right decision. So just because it's my secular job, I still pray about my decisions because, again, my decision is their fate. If you make the, ju the judiciary board and there is a situation where one of your close colleagues and friends is on trial, how would you personally handle that situation? Depending on how close I may recluse myself. Mm -hmm. And if, if it's a situation where I can make an objective, impartial decision, then I will do that. But it's, it's important to know where you stand with that person mm -hmm. because you may need to recluse yourself if you can't make an honest, objective and impartial decision. We're in, if, if you're in a situation where you have your friend your close family friend for over 30 years, and you know the truth, the answer, but you have to make a judiciary decision. Are you willing to possibly put your friendship online or how would you again handle that situation? Truth goes before friendship. Mm. And my friends know even now, if they, you go to Linnell, you're gonna go, you're gonna get the truth. If you don't want the truth, don't come to me because I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm going to continue to love you and I'm gonna tell you the truth lovingly, mm. but I have to uphold my job and do my job honestly and above board with integrity. So I think as we look at what you do in the secular world, cause I know people and a lot of people don't know the other part of your career as being a actual nurse, a actual medical nurse. I'm a nurse practitioner. I've been a nurse practitioner since 2008. And even with that, I review medical records for attorneys because they need uh, judgments medically. Mm -hmm. And I, I enjoy reviewing. So I have an investigative kind of look in, into records where I can give them my best decision. And I think that's great because now you, you understand the sincerity and you already know the sincerity of you know, privacy, uh, integrity, and things yes. like that. What else do you bring to the table? What else do you bring to the board? Why should a delegate check the box, Dr. Linnell Perry, on election day? I, I bring mature judgment, sound judgment, honesty, and I, I value, I, I value the church's integrity. Mm -hmm. I value holiness, holy living, and 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 I'm compassionate. You know, people make mistakes in life, but being able to look at those mistakes uh, with a spiritual eye and make sound decisions is what I bring to the judicial board. Well, you know, I think you 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 said it all. You nailed it. Man, I want to, you to give you the opportunity to look right at that camera and speak to the delegates right now uh, on your final words. What do you want to say to them from your heart to theirs? Whenever we have the election for the Church of God in Christ, please choose Dr. Linnell Perry as your next judicial board member. I promise you, I will prayerfully evaluate every case with the constitution and the holy written word of God and making 
a wise decision. Also in my closing, during this pandemic, I want you to know that I have been praying for those that are bereaved, those that are uh, depressed and stressed and anxiety. We must remember that despite how it looks, God is still in control. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Linnell Perry, candidate for a judiciary board for the Church of God in Christ. Dr. Perry, thank you so very much. We appreciate your support and uh, we wish you all the best prayers and support during this election time. Brother Steve from Hollywood, California, Dr. Linnell Perry. Until next time, God bless you. Good day, good evening, good night. God bless you. And don't forget to vote Dr. Linnell Perry, Judiciary Board for the Church of God in Christ. God bless you. We'll see you soon the next time.